Hey guys, it's Steel from CyberEv. Uh, we're just in front of the green screen out, uh, in Near Christ Place. <laughs> I don't go outside. <laughs> okay, anyways, uh, next week we're gonna, it's gonna be CyberEv's six year anniversary. So what we're doing is we're having uh, a few old school CyberEv members uh, come down to the house. We're gonna play uh, Far Cry together because that's where CyberEv started. Uh, CSS, there's gonna be like mini tournaments uh, for prizes, cash. It's gonna be fun. Uh, we're gonna have it all uh, recorded. We're gonna throw it up on YouTube so you guys can watch if you guys choose to. Uh, what the fuck am I supposed to say? How? How? All oh, right. How? Uh, how decided to leave? Uh, he got a girlfriend. He's fucking mad bitches. So he he's he's moved on. Uh, and it's really really lonely upstairs right now. I got no one sitting next to me. Uh, and your crack goes off to work during the day and I got nothing to do. So I need someone to come sit next to me and fill his place. So we're looking for someone to come do that, hopefully sooner rather than later, because you get really filthy. So if you guys know anybody, shoot a PM, uh, subscribe to Nearcry, youtube.com slash Nearcry, and hope you guys enjoy the tournament. Cheers. <laughs> hey guys, it's Steel here from CyberRev. The, the hairdo? <laughs> I fucking don't. Alright, I'm gonna talk to you about DE Cash. This is the new map that's being implemented into uh, ESEA. They threw it in the season. Uh, apparently, it's done. It's done all the tweaking. There's no more tweaking gonna be done to it. So, I'm just gonna talk about, you know, the flaws on the map, uh, my opinion on it, and how I think it could be improved. So first thing I'm going to start off is I'm going to talk about um, B site as a CT. The site has a lot of places to basically protect yourself from. There's so many boxes and objects in the site that you can hide behind that makes it so hard for the terrorists to actually execute out of uh, the two entrances. This is one and this is two. So they have two main entrances to come out of. Um, and that's not talking about the middle to spawn to B because that takes like 40 seconds and they can get shot from A players, which I'll talk about later. So these are the two main entrances into B site right now. And they can get shot from a person playing here, behind this box, these barrels, this box, you can jump on it, um, behind the generator over here, or behind this ledge over here. So there's many places for the CTs to play where they cannot get flashed at all because there's no place to throw over the roof. They, the terrorists can throw flashes through this window, this entire area here, by the way. There's no practical use for it except to throw flashes through the window. And even when you throw, I can't even do it, but when you throw flashes through the window, it doesn't even blind the CTs that much. If they're playing over here, it's gonna go in way behind them. If they're playing behind this box or something, it's not even going to affect them because it's, it's going way, it's going to explode way over top and they're not going to be affected at all over here. So there's way too many spots for the CTs to hide behind in the site that makes it way too hard for the terrorists to actually make an execution and take the site. Um, there's also a way for the CTs to just flash through here. I think this ladder in general is stupid. There should just be like a uh, more protected entranceway or just a different entranceway altogether. Maybe just a small doorway over here where they can, you know, quick rotate through the wall or something. Uh, I think having this up here, a ladder of death, is really bad because you're coming up the ladder, you can get shot from anywhere if the terrorists take the site. The secondary way into site from, uh, as a terrorist is through middle. So, I'll talk about this crawl space first of all. This vent, you can get shot from so many different angles, and all it does is take you to this room, which, again, only allows you to come through this doorway or this doorway. It does nothing for you. You're still going to get shot from 15 million hiding spots. That's if you make it to the vent. Um, if you want to go spawn to B, you have to run all this way where you can get shot from anyone playing behind the tires in sight, behind this thing, the barrels up top, uh, anyone who's playing in this corridor, hiding behind those sandbags, these barrels, so you have to check all that, as well as the fence over there and close left. Come through spawn, deal with uh, an opera who's playing A side, and also deal with a fast rotator off of B because it takes the CTs less time to rotate from site to middle than it takes for the terrorists to rotate 
from site or from their side of uh, B to middle. So those are your only ways into B site: the one entrance and then the dangerous path through spawn. Any other map you talk about, you'll have multiple ways into B site, or you'll just have um, you'll have a way to attain map control. But this this map doesn't have a way to take map control as a terrace. You're given this, and CTs do not need to push here to rotate a guy off and leave a guy solo. You can solo a CT in sight off the start, and you can leave him there. On a map like Inferno, where, where there's CTs at Banana and they want to get to Car, that's because if you're at Car, you have you know enough notice and you can fall back to site and get a rotator. Uh, and if you push them back at you know to site, you can still rotate a guy off, or but you need to play two people there because you can split from spawn easily. And you can also come up and, you know, there's sky flashes, you can do sky flashes, you can do smoking off the rotations. But this, you can't do sky flashes, this is your only way to flash. Uh, I'm going to talk about A real quick. Um, this is the only entranceway into A. Again, at B, there's only one entranceway, here there's only one entranceway. Any other map you talk about, uh, there's multiple entrances, train, outside, there's ivy, there's ladder, there's T choke point. Um, inner, there's two entrances into inner. Nuke, there's hut, there's squeaky, there's ramp to heaven, uh, there's mini garage, there's so many ways. But here, it's just this. Inferno, you have banana, then you have middle that branches off into two, and then you got hallway. You just have this, and you have a long way uh, up middle, which takes a really long time. There's no way to sell a fake, because to sell a fake, you need to come here, you need to throw things, then you need to run all this way, all the way back, all the way back, all the way back to here. And the rotations take longer for the terrorists to do all that because you have to do zigzags than the CTs who have a straight line that cuts across from each side of the map. So I think this map is really CT sided. There's way too many places to hide behind, like sight boxes. This you can peek into mid and into the corridor um, with so much cover. You can hide behind this box, uh, the tires, the forklift, the double stack, the barrels looking mid, up top. You can peek down like this, you can peek into upper, uh, into the hallway from up here, and you can peek it from CT spawn with an op, and you can also watch the mid to B. So there's way too many spots for the CTs to hide, not enough spots uh, for the Ts to actually, actually take the sights, there's no way to attain map control. On a map like uh, Inferno, you can push back Banana without actually challenging the CTs, and that forces the two people to play in the site, and you know, they're not able to get the uh, early rotation call. But on a map like this, if the T's are about to execute it on me, all I have to do is flash them back twice, have my teammate flash them back twice, and then I have all my teammates able to rotate here quicker than the T's can rotate back and sell a fake. So I think this map is incredibly one-sided, CT-sided, and there's just not enough for the terrorists to do. I think what would make the map a lot better, like a thousand times better, is if the terrorists spawn, not where CT spawn is right now, but a little bit further back to fix the timings, and then the CTs were to spawn where the terrorists spawn, except a little bit closer up, so that they're closer to the sites, and then from there, the CTs will be holding it from this entranceway and this entranceway, um, and then they'd be holding a site, um, you know, like this, instead of, you know, switching rules, basically. Because I think right now, it's just way too hard for the terrorists to actually take a site, and it's way too easy for CTs to uh, hold it. Also, the terrorists have such long rotations, and you can make you can make tweaks, but this map resembles DE Season a lot. The thing that makes DE Season a good map, though, or at least a lot better than this, is because it's balanced. It's balanced by the, the ventilation shaft from B site to middle, and you can run through it. You don't have to crawl through it. And the hallway that connects upper A to CAT. And that way the terrorists can sell fakes because they have the quick rotations back and forth between sites. And that means if a CT over rotates, they get punished for it. So th they need to be careful when they rotate. On this map though, the CTs don't get punished if they rotate early because they can rotate so quickly. Uh, that's my quick synopsis of DE Cash. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys understand where I'm coming from and hopefully we can make changes to the map for the next season or vote it out for next season, whatever it may be.